Hey guys! If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Emily, and if not, then welcome back. Today I wanted to do a story time, and I do not do these very often, but the other day I was just, you know, scrolling on Instagram, and I saw a picture of this guy, and this story just like came rushing back, and I wanted to tell you guys, because not a lot of interesting stuff happens to me, but this is probably one of the more <laughs> interesting things that happened to me. My life isn't super crazy. I'm not dying almost every other week like a bunch of other YouTubers are. Occasionally I have something noteworthy. So for legal purposes, I won't be saying this person's name if you- I don't want to be sued for slander or anything like that. Even though, you know, everything I'm saying is 100% true but I doubt this person remembers for reasons we will get into. So this must have been two, two and a half years ago. I had a friend who was kind of like a friend slash acquaintance like hung out every once in a while but was never actually really good friends. Randomly I got a text and it was her asking me if I wanted to go to a show with her, show being like a concert. Oh and then she, she was kind of like talking to or seeing one of the band members and I was like oh okay cool. You know I didn't really care but but that means that we were guest listed and didn't have to pay. I'm so this show was downtown and she lived like 20 minutes away from downtown. I lived like 40 minutes away at that point. And, but nonetheless, I picked her up. I'm like that person that if like you hang out with, I drive. I'm just like that type of person. And she didn't want to. On the way there, she tells me that the guy that she's seeing is the main person of, I'm gonna try to figure out a name for this guy, but let's go with his name being James. And this guy was famous, not like Justin Bieber famous, but famous if you liked hardcore or, like or indie type of music that kind of like Circa Survive. And if you've ever listened to like any of that music, you would know who this guy is. I knew who this guy was immediately because I really did like his music, sang for one of my favorite bands a while back. But then she also tells me that he has a girlfriend and they're in this weird open relationship. And it's not really my business, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. If he's in an open relationship and can hook up with my friend, then whatever. So we get there. We kind of just watch the show. It's not really a big deal. We play. Nothing really eventful happens in that time until they stop playing and and I thought it was kind of weird because normally a lot of the times the bands will hang out by their merch or go outside and sign autographs, take pictures, but immediately right, right after they got off, he came out and hung out with me and my friend there. And I have to note that this made me so happy because I don't really have a problem with people. I don't have enough energy to argue with people, to not to hate on people, to not like them. I don't care. But there was one girl in high school that always just purposefully tried to get on my nerves, hated me openly. This guy, James, was this girl's favorite singer in the entire world. She posted about him constantly. She was buying every one of his shirts. She was wearing one of his shirts that she'd previously gotten. And it was just me and my friend there talking to him and him and his, he was hanging out with us and she was standing around and saw it and it was hilarious. So I didn't want to really hang out with them for the entire night. I didn't want to be out till five in the morning. You know what I mean? By this time, it was already like midnight. So since I drive, girl wouldn't really have like a way to get home. So we stayed for quite a while, I think almost until one. And then I kind of just told her I don't want to be there all night. I didn't know that she wanted to hang out with him all night. Because what am I going to do? Just like sit there third wheel. Like if they went and hooked up, what am I going to do? Just sit there. I wasn't really about it. So I wasn't interested in staying that long. I didn't have any other friends there. So at this point, she decides that I'll drive her to her house and she'll get her car and she'll drive back. Okay, no problem. So this guy, James, decides that he wants to come with us, which already made me nervous. You know, I always get nervous whenever I'm driving someone new. Can't imagine someone famous being in your car, especially since at that point I drove a really, 
really crappy car. So she sat next to me and he sat in the back of my car. My car was also a mess. So I was a little bit embarrassed about that. At that point, I was already nervous. I'm not, when I get nervous, I probably don't drive as well as I could. So we start driving, you know, all is fine. But then he starts really, really complaining about my driving. And my driving was really fine at that point. But because he was complaining about it, it was making me more nervous, which was then affecting my driving. At first it was completely fine. There was nothing wrong with it. However, however, the reason he was complaining about it was because he was drunk. And when I mean like drunk, I mean like shit faced drunk, which was like a, because he was supposedly sober, but I mean, he reeked. Literally just me stopping at a light, he would, like ugh, and stuff like that so the fact that he was supposedly like sober and like quit his drugs and all of that kind of stuff was just kind of like ugh. so the entire way home he kept saying like oh i'm gonna be sick your driving is making me sick and i don't know i was getting pretty offended because my driving was fine he was just yelling at me and like making me flustered also like you're in my car it's like excuse you why are you yelling at me i didn't even offer to drive him he just kind of like got in with us why did you even need to if you're that drunk, you probably should not be in, an, in a moving car. And he was just really, really rude the entire time. Basically just yelling at me about how my driving sucks and how he's going to be sick and blah, blah, blah. It was like a 20 minute drive back to uh, my friend's house. Once we got there, he busted out the car and threw up because my driving was so bad. So I basically was just like, you know what, peace, I'm out. That he was so rude. I had really liked his music. I obviously don't listen to it anymore because I can't listen to it without thinking of that night. And my friend told me that I think that after that she just drove him back and then left. And I don't really think they talked much after that. So yeah, that was the time that a famous person yelled at me about my driving. I'm not saying that you guys like can't guess who this is. I just don't want to be like sued or anything for slander because this guy was claiming to be like sober. I do have some other story times, but I don't want to give them all out right off the bat. So anytime I do a story time, I obviously want you guys to tell me if you've had any experiences like this. If you have, let me know. Let me know if they yell at you for your driving or anything else. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.